Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to show you a really simple solution on how to get your mods working in GTA 5 after Rockstar does an update. So basically, all we're going to be doing is downgrading the version of your copy of the game. And keep in mind, this is only for the Steam version of the game. This method won't work for the Rockstar or the CD version of the game. So that being said, let's go ahead and open up Steam. And when you open up Steam, you see your directories at the top here. You know, you got your normal store, library, etc. If you see this console header too, then you're good for this step. Go ahead, go to the next one. However, if you've never downgraded a game from Steam, then you won't see this. In which case, here's step number one. Exit Steam. You're going to right click on your desktop icon. Create a shortcut. Right click on the shortcut and just rename it something so you can tell it apart. And then go to properties. And at the end here, see how I have this hyphen console text? Just go ahead and add that. After the end quotation marks, type a space and then hyphen console. Then go ahead and apply, hit OK and go ahead and log back into Steam using that shortcut. So once you get back in, get rid of that crap. Go ahead and open up the console that we just added. And all we need to do from here is type in the files that we need. And the files that we need are from these two depots right here. So you're going to enter the first one first, hit enter, it's going to download, and then once you see download complete, download the second one. And I'll leave this text document in the description down below if you guys want to just copy and paste like I did. And so once it's complete, you'll see download complete, and then it'll tell you the path to where it installed. So now go ahead and type in the second one, download it. And the second one's going to take a little bit longer. As you can see, 15,000 megs is a lot bigger than 72, so... If you have good internet, it took me about 10 minutes to download, so just be patient, should be quick. Now if you decide to do something else while this is downloading, like browse the internet or whatever, anywhere you click outside of Steam, it's going to print this weird line that says lizard something. I don't know what it means, but Steam does, and apparently it likes to spam it whenever you click. So the line that says download complete might get buried in there, just keep that in mind. You'll have to search for it in the sea of console lines there. So when everything's all done, open up your folder where you downloaded it to. I have a shortcut to mine here, so... Chances are you guys will have the same install path, but just make sure you double check with the path specified in the console. So inside that main folder, you'll see your two depots. There's your files for one. There's your files for the other. And now really all it takes is copying and pasting. Copy and paste the ones from the first one. already have this version and go grab the second one and paste it now you have all your files here all your files are updated now all these files down here 
all these RPF files, those don't change. Whatever RPF files you had, it's fine. Just copy and paste what you need and you're good to go. So we're all done now. Just exit out of all this and we'll load up the game. So there you have it guys, we're in game on a completely old version that your mods will now work with. Now you won't have to wait for the mod makers to update their mods after Rockstar does an update and messes everything up. I've also linked in the description down below the files needed for this version of Menu because most mods you can find the older versions for, Menu specifically you can't. So I've linked the correct version that I already had in the description below. And that's it guys, you're ready to fly around in your car above the atmosphere like an asshole. Please like and share this video so that anybody else that's wondering why their mods aren't working can get them working again and have some fun. Thanks for watching and don't forget to back up your game files so this never happens to you again.